Good morning, motor cars. It is Friday, December 23rd, in the midst of Hanukkah and Christmas and a whole bunch of other holidays. Birthdays this weekend on Christmas Day, Scott Chalinski, who's the parts manager over at Honda, Robert Smitherman, who's the Toyota Internet Sales Manager, so happy birthday, guys. Anniversaries this weekend, Jed, who is over at Honda as a service advisor, uh, has an anniversary, first year anniversary, on the 23rd. Uh, as far as word of the day goes, I'm going to be on vacation all next week. I'm going to be hanging out with my family, working on my next book, and making unfortunate noises in my recording studio. I'm going to be unreachable by phone, text, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or mental telepathy. While I'm away, Duncan Shaw at extension 186 is the BDC go-to for sales-related issues, and Sierra Lee at extension 165 is the go-to for service-related issues. If you ever need to reach the BDC, by the way, the best thing that you can possibly do is dial either 6570 or 6571, which ring to anybody who isn't already on the phone. It's been an interesting and a challenging year, 2016, but that's okay because what could be better than that? Along with all the gloom and doom and fake news, a lot of terrific things happened that didn't get as much attention as they deserved. So I thought I'd share a few of them with you, and I'm sure you can probably think of a few of your own. In 2016, scientists figure out how to link robotic limbs with the part of the brain that deals with intent to move, so that people don't have to think about how they're going to move a robotic limb. It just happens. Child mortality is down everywhere, and it keeps going down every year. Thanks to the ice bucket challenge, the gene responsible for ALS has been found, meaning that we're closer to an effective treatment. Let's see here. A solar-powered plane circumnavigated the world. California is now powering over 6 million homes with solar power, a record in the U.S. And Portugal ran its entire nation solely on renewable energy for four days straight just to see if it was a workable thing. Michael Jordan donated $2 million to help bridge the gap between police and the communities that they serve. The number of tigers in the world grew for the first time. And manatees and pandas ever since they got put on the protected list. 70,000 Muslim clerics declared a fatwa against ISIS. Pokemon Go players went insane placing lure modules near hospitals for sick kids. Volunteers in India planted 50 million trees in 24 hours. Worldwide, crime drastically declined for the 30th year in a row. We made strides in Alzheimer's prevention and may have found the path to a cure. The ozone layer seems to be repairing itself. All the work that we did to get rid of all those aerosol chemicals was actually worth it. A new therapy has been developed in Israel that may cure radiation sickness. The Anglican Church agreed to marry same-sex couples, and the Rabbinical Assembly issued a resolution affirming the rights of gay and transgender folks. Death by heart disease has decreased by 70% in the United States. Two brothers saw color for the first time thanks to some specially designed glasses. I'm actually horribly colorblind. I can only get maybe one out of every 14 tests right, so I'm really looking forward to that one. A retiree is launching a project to transport 80 endangered rhinos to an Australian reservation to keep them from being poached to extinction. Harriet Tubman is going to replace Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill. And 200 strangers attended the funeral of a homeless World War II veteran who had no family. A banking firm is paying for college tuition for the children of its employees who died in the 9-11 attacks. Over 800 Boko Haram hostages were rescued by the Nigerian army. Leonardo DiCaprio won an Oscar. There's a new Harry Potter book and a movie. And there was a Deadpool movie. And there's a Hamilton mixtape coming out with a bunch of artists singing songs from the musical. Good things happen every day. The more practice we get spotting them, the more we'll see. This holiday season, make sure you make time for the people that you love and for the people you don't. Whatever holiday or holidays you celebrate, I hope that they're happy. Merry Christmas, motor cars.